Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Microsoft Flight Simulator and today we are back in the TBM 930 continuing our cross-country uh, travel here. Um, at last minute we had a last minute request for a departure to Viva Las Vegas. Uh, nice cute little couple wants to go and try their, their luck on the strip there so we're going to go ahead and give them a shuttle on out. So we're going to get the uh, aircraft ready to go, get our flight plan set up, and then we will get them over to their gabbling extravaganza. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the cockpit, apply some power to the aircraft, get our ATIS, and then we'll set up our flight plan and sim brief, get it up in the FMC and the engine on, and then we'll set up pilot to ATC and get clearance and get out of here. All right, so this is going to be a night flight, so let's go ahead and get some lights on the aircraft. Turn our cabin and access lights on. We've got our battery and generator on. Now we're going to move pretty quick because we don't want to kill the battery here. The biggest thing is getting our ADA set up. So. Tucson International Information Sierra, 153 Zulu winds are calm. Visibility 10 miles. 5,000 broken. Temperature 7, dew point 3. Current altimeter is 29er 9er 2. Arriving and departing runway 29er left, 29er <laughs> right. Tucson International. 29er 9er 2, huh? Rocking with standard pressure. All right, so. Go ahead and very quickly get this wrapped up. So now we're going to adjust our flight plan. And let's see what we got here. So we're looking for 29 or right is our departure. That's going to suck. Taxi to the other end of the runway, kids. We got passengers too. We got cargo of about 200 pounds. They're packing a bunch of luggage. We can go ahead and go about 100 pounds extra fuel. Nothing too crazy. Set our fuel factor down to minus 30%. As we typically get a little too much gas from Simbrief. And other than that, we have our flight level set 220 pounds, blah, blah, blah. We are good to go. Again, this kind of stuff we don't care about. We just care about departure, arrival, location, and the flight uh, plan, and then how you want your route set up. All right, let's go ahead and rock it. Generate OFP. And the biggest thing we're going to get from here now is configuring our weights and balances. So we come over here to fuel. Scrolling down on my Simbri for a second. Total fuel we're looking at today is 953 gallons. We got 978 on board. I'll leave that alone. Nothing wrong with a little extra fuel. And payload today we are looking at 660 pounds. So let's go ahead and set that up. So right now we've got 340. So we're going to do passenger on the left hand side. Uh, let's say. She weighs 140 pounds. And then going for 660, what's that going to be? Another 140 in it. Uh, 880. Oh, 400. That's why. Whoa! <laughs> Did you guys see what happened with the plane? <laughs> um, hmm. I'm pretty sure I have to restart the aircraft. Oh, yep. I'm going to say I need to restart. I'll be right back with you guys. Okay. We are back in the seat. Uh, I could have just tipped the weight back forward again, but I didn't know if it actually simulated any damage to the aircraft. So I decided not to do that. I'll tell you what. We'll just uh, use this guy here. 447, 536. <laughs> Uh, that was funny. 670, 643. There we go. We'll call that. Oh, wow. A bunch of people with 80 pounds. Anyway, so 26.3 on the max. So we're good there. Center of gravity looks good. Fuel is good. Payload is good. Let's get her started up. All right. So, got batteries. We got generators. 
Let's get those lights back on again, get those panel lights turned up. And for here, ignition, we're looking to on auxiliary boost pumps to on. Autopilot system should be off. Fuel selection, fuel tank selection to manual. Come down, verify parking brake is on and secured. All switches are down. Pressurization switch is off. Fuel tank selection is on. Set the Garmin on. Throttle in the lock and cutoff position. Gear down and secure. All right, let's go ahead and get her started up. So coming up to our starter switch, we're going to give it up in a 1-2 prime. 1-2, let it go. Looking for 13% on the NG. There it goes. Throttle out of cutoff and into low idle. From here, we'll be looking for 53% on the NG and I believe about 400 degrees on the inlet temperature, intake temperature, excuse me. There's 53. All right, so throttle up to high idle, then over the gate to flight idle. All right, we are started. Let's go ahead and get those nav lights on, the pulse lights on. We can go ahead and turn taxi light on. Somebody asked the other day in a comment why Americans use things like let's go or we can go ahead. And I don't know. Maybe we just um, are always hoping we're not alone. That's all I got for you. All right, so now let's get into um, creating the flight plan in the FMC. All right, so our origin, KTUS, enter, our destination, Kilo Lima Alpha Sierra, enter. Let's go back, look at procedures, departure. Uh, let's see what we're using today. The Wildcat 3 to B-Ball. All right, so there's our Wildcat 3 to the B-Ball transition using runway 29 or right. Hit load. And we are on it. And for the arrival, we are the Tyson 5. I knew it was going to be the Tyson. All right. So we're going to be looking for Tyson 5 using the Drake transition and heading for runway one niner left today. Load. And for the approach, we are hoping for... See, we have our nav. Ah, uh, no ILS for us today, guys. We are looking for the RNAV approach. It looks like so. We're going to be jumping on the RNAV one niner left, and let's check that transition, shall we? Let's pull up our navigraph. Favorites: Las Vegas should be in here. I like flying to Vegas, especially since the update. And we're going to go to the approaches. We're going to look for one niner left. And we are looking at, let's see, that's for the missed approach fix. Looks like the SUVE is our transition into the approach fix. Let's see what we got here. There it is, SUVE. And we're going to hit load, but we are not going to activate. Guys, slow down. It is not time for that. Let's go ahead and hit the back button here. Home again. Go to our speed bugs here. Let's set the approach bug. Let's set the best rate bug. And let's set our rotation bug. Hit our back button again. Hit our back button one more time. Actually, no, we don't need to hit that. We need to do that. Whoa. Well, I'll be damned. Ooh, we're gonna have a fun to plane with the desk. Huh. Glad I haven't started the, or started this portion of the TBM guide yet. So, news today. G3000 guide from working title, or G3000 guide. G3000 avionics system has been updated to version 4.0 and clearly has some new toys in it. Hmm. Link is down in the description below. All right, 
<clears throat> so we have our flight plan entered. Let's go ahead and go to our nav radios. There's that. Let's go ahead again. Coming up to our autopilot, we can turn our flight directors on. We can go ahead and set the yacht dombers now. And I think that's everything I'm looking for at the moment. All right. So next step, pilot to A to C. Let's go ahead and get it set up. All right, so now with pilot to ATC, there's a couple things that we're going to want to do first. We're going to want to scroll down on our flight plan and sim brief to make our lives easy. And we're going to hit download. There's no harm in downloading it from here, guys. If you guys really feel like entering the flight plans manually in pilot to ATC, you can. But this is significantly faster, and it's not any benefit because it's the same process with every single aircraft. In the sim, I recommend always entering it in manually because you learn how to do it. You get that practice in, you know. There's, there's benefit to it, but pilot to ATC, save yourself some time. So we're going to go to new, and I'm going to set our flight level at 220. Whether or not we'll get it, we'll see. We may go a little higher, may go a little lower. We're going to go to import, find our most recent download, see, 4.0, and hit open. And from here, we'll give it a second. Flight plan has been created. Now we're going to hit file. Uh, ILS 26 right. No, that is not our approach. Manually add the IFR approach. I can do that. All right. Uh, so we are wanting runway 19 or left. And the RNAV. Oops. The transition is SUVI and load. That's a beauty. See how it all looks. Oh, it looks great. We're going to come in right over the the blotty water, come back down here, and land it down safely. That was like three accents in one, I'm pretty sure. I, I would be a terrible actor. Anyway, so that is all complete. We're good to go there. Let's go ahead and hit File. And that is complete. We are ready to call for clearance and get out of here. How awesome is that? I'm going to turn the pulse light off. The pulse light? Post light? Because it does affect our taxi light. So, pulse light comes off. Dimmer comes on. Oxygen comes on. One last check of all the systems. Ignition needs to go to auto, auxiliary boost pump to auto, fuel selection switch to auto, autopilot switches back up. I forgot about our little tip on the aircraft there, so anyway, all that is now set. Coming downstairs, pressurization bleed set to max diff or auto, pedo heaters on, and inertial separator on for taxi and takeoff and any icing situations. And other than that, folks, course deviation indicator set to the FMS, PFD map settings, map layout, map, ooh, nice, they finally got that. Turn the inset map off, I actually don't like it, as well as I want my terrain on. I wonder if that's done from downstairs. We'll check that out in just a second. PFD map settings. Oh, let's go back. PFD settings. Bearing, nav, nav 1, 2. Oh, yeah, that's fine. It's just the inertial separator. You don't need bearing 2. Bearing 1, I would prefer. Other PFD settings. Altitude units, AOA. Let's turn that off. Wind, I like it on. Let's do option 3. Alright, let's go back. And now I am really curious. Let's go to PFD settings. And let's see if I can turn that. <laughs> yeah, baby. Synthetic terrain. Love it. Option three. Grabbed everything else from there. So looking great. Ah, you guys at working title. You guys make me so happy. It's like Christmas. All right. Let's, uh, hey, why is that still on? I could have swore I turned that off. Anyway, all right, whatever. All right, so at this point, we are ready to contact clearance. 
So let's go ahead and do that. Clearance, November 682 Alpha Tango requesting IFR clearance. Uh-oh. It's a good thing they didn't catch any of that because I didn't say any of it right. Tucson clearance. Uh, it's still not picking it up. What's going on? Yeah, we have a problem here. Pilot to ATC's got an issue, I don't know why. Let's go to buttons. There it goes. Alright, let's see. I think we got it. Just had to remap the button. Tucson clearance, November 682 Alpha Tango. Ready to copy IFR clearance. Two Alpha Tango, you were garbled. Really? Please say again. Tucson clearance, November 682 Alpha Tango. Ready to copy IFR. Two Alpha Tango, you were garbled. Please Come say on. again. Come on, man. Let me move the microphone around here. Maybe it's too low for me. November 682 Alpha Tango ready to copy IFR. November 682 Alpha Tango is cleared to Kilo Lima Alpha Sierra as filed. Expect departure runway 29 right. Climb and maintain 7,000 feet. Expect higher clearances 2 minutes after departure. Departure on 119.4. Squawk 4165. November 682 Alpha Tango is cleared to Kilo Lima Alpha what? Sierra as filed. Climb and maintain seven I hate it when it does this. Expect higher clearances two minutes after departure. Departure on one one nine. I never told it to do this. I never Squad tell it to do this. And every now and then, when I go to launch it, he starts talking for me. No, do not respond to radio. You son of a gun. Jerk. Enjoy your evening. All right. What did she say my squawk was? Squawk 4165. I hate it when they do that, man. Like at complete random sometimes that'll happen with Pyte ATC. Oops. Like I don't know why it did that. But anyway, we'll get it from here. So who are we talking for now? We're looking for ground. Altimeter two nine or nine or two. Yep, ground on one two four point four. Jerk. There we go. Okay. <clears throat> that was frustrating. All right, guys, so on a hunch, I restarted pilot to ATC. I've reset the flight plan, started walking through things, and things are now changing. So first off, we it finally did give me an altimeter that was different than 299 or 2. We got 299 or 4, which makes a little bit more sense, more common for us. And we also have departing runways that have changed, which means now we're going to have to turn the aircraft around. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to park the aircraft over here. And then we'll get taxied back out to 1 1 left. We're going to have to change our. I don't think I'm going to change the departure in the flight computer. Well, we might, I guess. But let's go ahead and put the aircraft over here. We're going to be by the big jets for a second, but it shouldn't be long. But I like to show you guys this stuff when things wig out. So. That taxi instruction, I had probably tried it eight or nine times. I took most of it out of the video for you. Um, but I had tried repeating it a bunch of times, and it failed every time. She just kept repeating I even had the computer voice, the co-pilot, respond, and it failed again. So um, I 
figured that was something wrong and I didn't want to toast the entire flight so I decided to reset it and that solved our problem. So let's go ahead and just walk through the clearance and delivery real quick and we'll get out of here. But one thing we are going to have to... Information, Shut up. I did not tell you to do that. All right, let's go to procedures. We're going to do the Wildcat 3 and we're going to change our departure. Yep, that's what I thought. You're going to change my freaking flight plan, dude. <sighs> well, and that can mess up this MFD, so I'm not going to do that. They're just going to, we're going to take it as it is and we'll figure out the flight as we go along. So pay attention because there'll be a lot of corrections, probably a lot of manipulation of the autopilot to make this all work out right. But let's tune clearance and delivery. And let's just get after it. 1665. Tucson clearance, November 682 Alpha Tango. Re ready to copy IFR. Clearance, November 682 Alpha Tango. Ready to copy IFR. To Alpha Tango, you were garbled. God damn it. Please say again. November 682 Alpha Tango. Ready to copy IFR. November 682 Alpha Tango is cleared to Kilo Lima Alpha Sierra as filed. Expect departure runway 11 left. Climb and maintain 7,000 feet. Expect higher clearances two minutes after departure. Departure on 119.4. Squawk 4516. Cleared to Kilo Lima Alpha Sierra as filed. Climb and maintain 7,000 feet. Expect higher clearance two minutes after departure. Departure 119.4. Squawk 4516. TBM 2 Alpha Tango. TBM 2 Alpha Tango read back correct. Altimeter 2 Niner Niner 4 contact ground on 124.4 when ready to taxi. Good day. 1244 2 Alpha Tango, thank you. Ground TBM 2 Alpha Tango, ready to taxi runway 11 left. TBM 2 Alpha Tango taxi to runway 11 left via taxiways Alpha, Alpha 4. Hold short runway 11 left. Taxi to runway 11 left via taxiways Alpha Alpha 4. Hold short runway 11 left TBM 2 Alpha Tango. Oh, I didn't push the button. Damn it. Taxi to runway 11 left via taxiways Alpha Alpha 4. Hold short runway 11 left TBM 2 Alpha Tango. And she got it. Yeah, so we were bugging. Okay, so not too bad. That's what it is. It's kind of nicer because it's, we're closer to the taxiway or to the runway. Actually, we're a lot closer to the runway. So she said Alpha 4, so we're going to sort of cross this little spot over here. Even this isn't exactly for us at this point. And this is still technically Alpha 6, but it gets us onto the taxiway. Come on, baby. And again, guys, save yourself frustration. Alpha Tango contact tower on 118.3. Have a good evening. 118.3 TBM2 Alpha Tango. Tucson Tower TBM2 Alpha Tango approaching runway 11 left, ready for departure. TBM2 Alpha Tango winds are 168 at 7 knots cleared for takeoff. Runway 11 left, maintain runway heading until above 3,600 feet, then turn left heading 276 to intercept course. Fly runway, run, run, fly runway heading until 3,100 feet, then turn right 276, TBM 2 Alpha Tango. Alright, let me 
just get my camera squared away here. Ooh, yep. I was waiting for that little bump. I knew it was there. There are some airports you got to wait for their little surprises. All right, let's go ahead and give the heading bug a tap. There it goes. All right. So we'll lock in the heading. And I also want to set our airspeed. Oops. So what I'm doing now is in locking in the airspeed and we're looking for 118 knots. Okay, let's go. Watching our torque. We don't want to over torque it. Slowly increasing. Take off power set. There's rotation. Tap the brakes, stop the wheels, gear up. We can engage our autopilot. Passing flap speed, flaps coming up. We're at 3,000 feet. Make our heading left 276. Pulling the power back. TBM2 Alpha Tango climb and maintain 12,000 feet contact Tucson departure on 119.4. Enjoy your evening. Climb and maintain 12,000 contact departure, TBM2 Alpha Tango. Oop, come on. Let's get departure in the box. Tucson departure, TBM2 Alpha Tango climbing through 5000 with you. TBM2 Alpha Tango, good evening. Radar contact. Climb and maintain 12000 feet. Climb and maintain 12000, TBM2 Alpha Tango. Goodbye, Tucson. Hey, everything worked out. Anyway, so I was going to say, guys, don't be afraid to reset things and, and save yourself the headache. Don't ruin your flight. Don't wait too long to do what you got to do. All right, so we are airborne. What's our outside temperature? Negative 2 degrees Celsius. Skies are clear, though. Let's go ahead and terminate the initial separator for now. I think we will turn the airframe de-ice on though and the ice light and prop ice. Now watching, when we turn the initial separator off, you want to watch your torque because it will climb. You're probably going to have to pull your throttle back just a little bit like we're going to here.
DBM2 Alpha Tango you are off course. Turn right heading 325 to return to course. Oh, we totally are. I didn't hit the nav. Turn right heading 325 TBM2 Alpha Tango. TBM2 Alpha Tango climb and maintain flight level 180. Climb and maintain 180 TBM2 Alpha Tango. TBM2 Alpha Tango radar contact. Climb and maintain flight Let's level. Let's go ahead and say flight level. TBM2 Alpha Tango turn left heading 325. TBM2 Alpha Tango, climb and maintain flight level 180. I'm surprised she took that. I took, said my call sign in the reverse order. I'm not going to turn left at 325 yet. I'm going to see if what happens when the aircraft turns on course. TBM2 Alpha Tango, resume navigation. See? Resume navigation, TBM2 Alpha Tango. And in about two seconds here, she'll start turning. Above 10,000 feet, landing lights and come off. Taxi lights off. Verify upstairs. Yep, good. Uh, taxi lights on. We're golden. Should be an easy flight from here. Knock on wood. <clears throat> Good strong climb out, man. Tango climb and maintain flight level 220. Climb and maintain flight level 220, TBM2 Alpha Tango. What just happened? What just went wrong? Something just went wrong. Something went very wrong when I did that. That was very weird. What was that? Flight level what? Two two zero. TBM two Alpha Tango climb and maintain flight level two two zero. Climb and maintain flight level two two zero. TBM two Alpha Tango. Contact Albuquerque Center on three four point four five. Have a good one. Contact Albuquerque Center one three four point four five. TBM two Alpha Tango. Thank you. Albuquerque Center, TBM 2 Alpha Tango, climbing through flight level 210 with you. TBM 2 Alpha Tango, good evening. Radar contact. Interesting behavior. What are you doing, Birdie? Oh, hey. Before we forget, that was different.
turning the de-icing systems off. We don't have any moisture in the air tonight, so we should be okay. Keep an eye on it. If it becomes a problem, we'll turn them on. TVM2 Alpha Tango contact Albuquerque Center on 132.35. Have a good evening. Albuquerque Center on 13235. Thank you, TVM2 Alpha Tango. Albuquerque Center. Nope. Aircraft calling center. Albuquerque Center, TBM2 Alpha Tango at flight level 220 with you now. TBM2 Alpha Tango, good evening. Radar contact. Alright guys, well, we're pretty much stationary from here. Be quite a few handoffs between the different centers. But I will catch you guys as we get closer to our top of descent, which is quite a ways away. So I'll catch you guys soon. Hey guys, I'm just jumping in real quick. We are getting close to our top of descent. We still have a ways to go yet, but I wanted to show you guys something. So I am still experiencing the bug with Pilot to ATC, where when we're on our flight, plan, flight path, it tells us that we're off course. Okay, and again, what that issue is, if you've watched my previous videos or not, is basically... If we look at pilot to ATC, okay, and we zoom in, now right now it's pretty on sync, which is good, but occasionally what would happen is this line, their flight line, won't match this one. It'll be slightly off one side or the other, and that's why you get that command. When it does that, um, just fly your heading, and you can use Navigraph if you have it to, to ascertain what your course should be. So for example, I had to take it over here. Um, and as we were coming on to uh, the star from Drake, I didn't know what this bearing was going to be or this heading. So you can look right here, see 284. So basically as I approach the turn on the FMS, so let's say the turn was right here, right? We were flying, 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 the turn was here. I just manually returned to the heading, keeping that offset that a pilot to ATC was liking. And then for some reason when I turned onto this final uh, towards Drake, um, you know everything lined back up again so it's just certain points that don't seem to line up it's not a hundred percent through but if you run into that just take control of the aircraft fly your heading like you normally would um, and uh, you know do what you gotta do to be happy what it wants is it wants this plane to be right here on the blue line so if the two lines don't add up if you're looking at your FMC or your nav computer and you're looking at ATC and they don't line up just fly whatever this one f wants until they line up again and what will happen is as they line up again you'll hear ATC come on the radio and tell you hey um, you know resume navigation when you do that uh, when you get that just tap your nav button bring it back online and as long as it's happy it'll leave you alone but if he tells you again turn to get off course just keep that spacing that you need to keep in order to keep it happy but uh, you know again do that pilot stuff and uh, you can still absolutely enjoy pilot to ATC. It just it's a slight variance. It's nothing too crazy. It's typically a few miles off. It's nothing bad. But anyway, figured I'd share that with you. We should be getting our um, approach expectations here soon via radio. Um, shortly after that, we'll be reaching our top of descent. The green arrow here is the top of descent, in which case we should get to our our descent commands from ATC. So I'll catch back up with you guys in just a few minutes. Expect the RNAV approach to 19 left with the SUBI transition TBM2 Alpha Tango. TBM2 Alpha Tango contact Los Angeles Center on 124.2. Have a good one. 124.2 TBM2 Alpha Tango. Los Angeles Center, TBM2 Alpha Tango at flight level 220 with you. that right? 124.2? 124.2? Yeah. Los Angeles Center, TBM2 Alpha Tango with you. TBM2 Alpha Tango, this is Los uh, Angeles I Center on 124.2. Please repeat your request. Los Angeles Center, TBM2 Alpha Tango at flight level 220 with you. TBM2 Alpha Tango, good evening. Radar contact. We are getting close to our top of descent now. Yep, there we go. 
Alright, so what we can do here is bring up the approach. We're looking for one niner left. And we're going to be looking for the approach frequency. 116.9 today. So let's go ahead and grab that into the radios here. Radios. 1169 and we can just hit transfer throws it into the box you can see that the LAS has been identified we got it right here at 47 miles so yeah we'll be starting our descent soon TBM 2 Alpha Tango descent and maintain it is. 7,000 feet altimeter to 9 or 7 4 we say 1 7,000 feet Descend and maintain one seven thousand feet. TBM two Alpha Tango. Oops, Went too far. And we're going to go to vertical speed on this one and start bringing her down. Oh, helps if I activate it. Oh, I did. Oh, I went way too far. That's why. Hello. Vertical speed. There she goes. Start pulling some power off. And what did he say? Altimeter was two nine or seven four. Wow, that's a big difference. I don't know what this swaying left to right thing's all about all of a sudden. That's yeah, smoothed out. All right. Hmm. <sighs> So we're going to descend pretty quickly. You can see that uh, we don't have a whole lot left to come into Vegas. So I'm going to sort of follow ATC's commands. At one point we'll probably get onto approach, but uh, I'll go ahead and hold the video until we get closer to bringing her in. I'll make sure to come back with you guys before we activate the approach mode. Changed my mind there. We're going to keep you guys with me. So we just got an altitude change of 1, 2,000 feet and got told to contact Las Vegas approach. Descend and maintain flight level 12000 contact Las Vegas approach on 118.4 TBM 2 Alpha Tango. TBM 2 Alpha Tango descend and maintain 12000 feet contact Las Vegas approach on 118.4. Enjoy your evening. Descend and maintain 12000 contact depart Las Vegas approach on 118.4 TBM 2 Alpha Tango. Las Vegas approach, TBM2 Alpha Tango, descending through 17000 with you. TBM2 Alpha Tango, good evening. Radar contact. Viva Las Vegas. I think that's the strip. Well, maybe not. We're a little far out for that. I don't know. That could be it. We'll know as we get closer, I guess. TBM 2 Alpha Tango cleared for the RNAV approach to runway 19 left with the Sobe transition. Cleared for the RNAV approach to runway 19 left with the Sobe transition TBM 2 Alpha Tango.
even you're not lighting up anymore. Look what it's doing. What is it doing? Plane, you better knock your junk off or I'm going to take it from you. What in the heck are you doing? But yet it thinks we're on course and we are absolutely not. Well, I guess we're slightly turning, but... What's our distance to? Seven miles? always know there's interesting stuff with the autopilot. It never changes. Again, don't get frustrated with it. Just fly your plane, do what you gotta do. It says this is our desired track, which is interesting. But looking here, that certainly wouldn't make sense to me. But that's alright. We'll keep making it work. So interestingly enough, we got out here and now the aircraft started turning back or back towards the correct heading. That's odd. I'm surprised pilot to ATC hasn't yelled at us because we're way off course here. It's interesting. We're supposed to be down at 5,800 feet. So she better give us. Well, that's 10 miles, so. Well, it's about 10 miles. We better get some descent commands here pretty quick. I'm gonna make sure we're set up for that. I'm gonna set the altitude, but we won't start descending yet. We should be looking for at least 5,000. I'm going to set us all the way down to 4,300. Actually, what's the final altitude? What is it? 2760. So we'll set it for 2,700 for now. Just waiting. GBM there we go. Alpha Tango descend via the Soviet transition to 5,800 feet. Descend via the Soviet transition to 5,800 feet. TBM2 Alpha Tango. Take her down, girl. Take her down. We're going to pull that throttle back right down almost to landing gear speed. Keep her slow. I'm just worried about having enough time to descend that low, so I want us to descend pretty fast. I'm going to go ahead and set the altitude to what was requested now that we're descending. And we are coming below 10,000 feet, so landing lights are coming back on. GBM 2 Alpha Tango Altimeter 2971 at MC Karen International Contact Tower on 118.75. Have a good evening. What was that? 11875? 11875. Enter. Contact tower on 11875 to Alpha Tango. Ah, I hate it when it does that. Las Vegas Tower. 
Wait. McCarran Tower, November 682 Alpha Tango, descending through 9000 with you on approach for 19 left. Tower, 2 Alpha Tango, descending through 8000 with you. 2 Alpha Tango, good evening. Mm. Radar contact. Continue RNAB to runway 19 left. Call when established on final. Call when established on final, 2 Alpha Tango. 2 Alpha Tango, this is Las Vegas Tower on 118.75. Please repeat your request. No, I'll shut my mouth. Call one established on final. TBM two Alpha Tango. TBM two Alpha yeah, okay, Tango. So. This is Las Vegas Tower on one one eight point seven. I would think they'd still want you to request. acknowledge that you received that command. All right, let's see how we're doing here. I'm a little worried about this. Mm, looks like we're descending right where we should be. Should make it right about on time. I'm going to set my altitude now down to 2700. the strip coming into view. Hmm. All right, do we dare attempt the localizer is the question. Because it should be time for that. We're going to go flaps one. A little bit of power. Plane, damn it, keep descending. All right, let's see if the localizer works. We're going to try to activate in the approach mode. Nope, it's going to turn us around. Damn it. <sighs> Let me see if I can check my radios here. Something's weird. Navcom, audio, radios. It looks like it already set that one. Ah, plane, you're killing me. 116, what is it? 0.9. Nope, got us facing the other direction too. Alright, we're going to do this the old fashioned way again. I get so tired of fighting with this dude. Now I gotta watch our descent rate. And now our altitude got all messed up. Oh man, dude, we are right on top of the airport. Alright guys, we're going to have to, I'm just going to take the plane back. We're going to do this the old-fashioned way. Disengage. Alright, and we're going to get that landing gear down. We're going to get those flaps down again. You do what you got to do, guys. Get your planes down. Get your planes down.
Coming in for one niner left. We're just going to make our turn and establish on final. I'll have to do some more research. I want to make sure I'm not doing something wrong with the approach. It's worked for me before. I know the ILS works every time, but yeah, the VOR. Every time I try to use it, it's got me spinning the wrong direction. But that's okay. It's okay. We're going to make it work. Like I said, we just keep doing more of that pilot stuff. That's what it's all about. I think it's safe to go ahead and call the tower. Tower, TBM-2 Alpha Tango, established on final, one niner left. TBM-2 Alpha Tango winds are one six niner at six knots cleared to land runway one nine left. Look at this, we are crabbing, talk about a crosswind. Yeah, you can see it right there, although it looks like it's blowing the wrong direction, but whatever. Everything works out. All is well that ends well. TBM two Alpha Tango exit runway when able. Exit runway when able, TBM two Alpha Tango. Clients made it here. They get to go do their gambling. TBM2 Alpha Tango cleared the runway. And actually, guys, I think I'm going to go ahead and just call the flight here. I'm worried about ATC bugging out here. I don't think it's giving me the instructions I want it to. Um, but uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed this flight. It was a fun little flight. Again, there's always going to be bugs and challenges and things that we have to get over. Um, but uh, just keep flying your planes, guys. If anything, I, I, I got to tell you, I have learned the most of these aircraft from dealing with the bugs, as we would call bugs or problems or things that aren't working out the way we want with the autopilots or maybe the navigation or comm system. I've learned the most from dealing with those because we still have to fly the plane. So, I mean, just keep chugging along, keep flying, guys, and uh, as always, I will catch you guys in the next one where we will go from Las Vegas to somewhere else. I'll see you guys soon.